Fishing with Kyron Steve Channel. Kyron Steve. In this episode, Kyra and Steve take a fishing trip to Calling Lake to try our luck at some ice fishing and some overnight winter camping. Now, unfortunately, we were unable to catch any fish, but like a pencil, we sharpened our skills and learned a couple things along the way, things that we would like to share with you. So, at the end of the episode, we have a safety tip and a trick how to catch more fish. Come on, car, let's do this. Awesome morning so far. And my Tim Hortons tasted great. I don't know why, coffee just tastes better when you're going ice fishing. <laughs> and well, we went through some snow squalls and we're just outside of Babaska. So we're just coming up to that top. You know what time it is? It's Kyra time. So at this point in our trip, we are in the Calling Lake Provincial Park. And we notice from Google Maps that there's a boat launch. So we're on our way to access the lake from that point. This is an area that has had a lot of snow. I'm talking, there has to be at least a foot and a half to two feet laying on the ground and ice. Now, as we turn the corner up here, you're gonna notice a guy with a camper and he tries his luck to get out on the ice. Now he is chained up but he gets stuck and we end up right behind him about a kilometer short of where we want to fish. So instead of fishing at 20 feet for depth we ended up fishing at 11 feet.
Well, I guess it's time to unpack and get set up. We came out here through this. Then I bored a trail. Well, those guys got stuck this morning. I bored a trail backwards into this section right here. It's two o'clock and we finally got set up. And now we can enjoy some fishing. Calling Lake, bring me some monster fish. That's what I'm talking about. basically turn two chairs into Kyra's bed here are you are you good with that I put my sweater in there and she got her paw on it she likes sleeping on my sweater and I got some snacks here yep got my bed there and again that's the diesel heater there then I turn mr. buddy on because Mr. Buddy really helps me with drying up my boots, drying up my socks. So I got two heaters going. Now, the nice thing is with the diesel heater, and I can't stress this enough, with the diesel heater, you have climate control. So I set it to 18 degrees and it says, okay, Bender, no problem. When I get to 18, I'll just dial it down and that's what it does so I'm very happy and very proud of the way the diesel heater works now you can see my heat I clipped it to the table or well, actually I clipped it to my taco box and then my air intake well, it's, it's down there somewhere oh right there and it does the thing Again, 
my boots, my socks, and my pants, because I'm about to take them off. They're going in front of this thing. And that way, they'll all be dry in the morning. And then, we can do it all over again. Right, Kyra? I love your bed. I almost think your bed's better than mine. So we woke up this morning, and I checked the weather network out. And they have wind warnings of 90 kilometers. So Kyra and I have no choice but to take to take things down and then we can just fish over the hole. So we're hard out of here trying to get things wrapped up. The wind's just starting to pick up here now. So it won't be long and we'll be getting 40, 50 kilometer winds as forecasted. So that's what we're up to. I was a little surprised that weather changed like it did but it's still beautiful out here gorgeous and uh, I can still fish I just can't fish in my tent so we're good to go now we just got to catch some fish right Sheldon well we hope to have better luck next time with the uh, wind picking up I'm so glad that I put my tent away when I did and we tried doing some outdoor fishing but the wind is just too strong and i can't stay warm so i gotta buy some 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 gear to keep me warm like some leggings and stuff i had a set of leggings but i put them on the ground so kyra could keep her feet off the snow and they ended up getting wet so like i say i need to buy some some new uh fishing wear and hope to do that over the course of the next week or so. But as you see, it's just beautiful out here. And I'm so glad that we came and I hope that I could come again sometime. But we'll have to see. We did it, Kyra. We got out. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> she was a wild ride. Bow low, bouncing around. Really hope I didn't hurt anything on the Jeep mechanically wise. It was a rough ride. But it was odd or get stuck, and I wasn't getting stuck, so we we pinned her. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Kyra, she's got her nose right out the front windshield. She's just loving it. I'm like, come on, Dad, let's go home. safety tip and a trick on how to catch more fish. Our safety tip comes to you from this propane hose, which if you notice, the end is just a mess. That's right. I had this hose for eight years. I put it on my barbecue. After I was done with it, I decided, well, it's got the same connection. I'll just hook it to my Mr. Buddy heater. The safety tip I want to leave with you is please, when you do hook up to a barbecue, a Mr. Buddy heater, please inspect your hoses. 
check the ends. Make sure you turn it on. Make sure there's no leaks coming out. Okay, because I didn't do that. Now, fortunately, because my Mr. Buddy here was a couple feet in from the tent, nothing got burned. But imagine if this went off at night while you're sleeping. I do not want that to happen to anyone. The trick to catch more fish is quite simple. It's something I heard on a podcast from Spotify. If you type in ice fishing, Canada, you will find a couple guys from Saskatchewan who do a podcast, who talk to anglers and people of the sport that basically talk about ways to improve your fishing. And something that was mentioned that was so simple was when you go ice fishing, instead of just setting up your tent and drilling your holes, take some time. Drill a hole. Put your camera in. Put down a line. See if there's any fish there. If there isn't, move on to the next hole. Drill a hole. And you might have to do this three or four times, but you have a better chance of catching fish. You find a place fish are hanging out. So again, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we look forward to seeing you on the next Fishing with Kyron Steve episode. Take care, and have a great weekend.